Hi, Calvary family. It's Pastor Chad. Uh, it's Wednesday, and I wanted to update you on some of the things we're thinking and uh, also encourage you as you continue to face this coronavirus pandemic and all of its different facets. First of all, though, let me remind you that this weekend we're having uh, online services only. At our regular scheduled times, you can uh, log in at uh, calvarylhc.com or calvaryaz.com or Calvary Facebook page, and you can live stream the services Saturday at 5 or Sunday at 8, 9, 30, or 11. Uh, includes worship and announcements and all the things that you're usually uh, going to experience on a weekend just without the you know, touch of the crowds, which is what they're trying to avoid. So I'd encourage you and your family or your friends or your life group to worship with us and celebrate the life that Christ has for us. And of course, the message is going to be focused on uh, this whole situation and what we're experiencing and doing, what we can do about it. Uh, now, I know after uh, you know all of this is going on, and if you're alone and you're isolated, it's really easy to kind of get down. It's really easy to watch the news, read the news, and start focusing on all the negatives that are happening. And, oh, this is terrible, it's going on, and they're not letting us do this, and I'm feeling trapped, and they're out of toilet paper at the grocery store, and I can't get this. It's really easy to focus on the negatives. And that's why today I want to encourage you with the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, where he says, Rejoice always, pray continually, and in everything give thanks for this is God's will for you who are in Christ Jesus. So if you identify yourself as a follower of Jesus Christ, then it is the will of God for you to be thankful right now. I know, it's hard to imagine being thankful when you're surrounded by all the crisis and all the, the things that are concerning us and go, how, do, how am I supposed to give thanks in the midst of this? That's, that's precisely what the gospel is all about. We can give thanks because we are loved by God, no matter our circumstances. We can give thanks because our future has been guaranteed by Jesus through his death and resurrection, no matter the circumstances. We can give thanks because God is with us and God has blessed us incredibly, regardless of the current circumstances. We are a people who always have a reason to give thanks, to always rejoice. And of course, we want to pray continually, uh, not just in the midst of crisis, but in our everyday lives. So I'm going to challenge you to do something. And, and the more you don't feel like doing this, the more I'm going to challenge you to do it. Sit down and give thanks. If you're all alone, get out a piece of paper and start writing down all the things you are thankful for as a prayer to God. If you're with your spouse or a couple of friends, then sit down and say, hey, let's all see who can be out thankful to the other one. And, and just go around and keep sharing things that you're thankful for. When you're getting together in your life group, maybe uh, uh, just begin with a season of giving thanks because the more that we express the thanksgiving that we have for God and to God for the blessings he has given us in our lives, then the better able we are to represent Jesus in the world around us, whether that's the world that's online or the world that's in person. So I just want you to know that, uh, that God is still in control that God loves you. He's working right now in your life. He's working in the life of this church, in our community, and in our world to bring people to that life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. And we can only, only be a helpful part of that if we're obeying the will of God and we are rejoicing always, praying continually, and in the midst of whatever circumstances we're in, we're giving thanks because that's God's will for us who are in Christ Jesus.